from Devil's Peak on Mount Kismo, the site of a terrifying display of Mother Nature's raw force. I'm here with my daughter, Ray, who was on the slopes when the avalanche occurred. Ray, could you tell the viewers what you experienced? Yes, hello viewers. I'm Ray Sunshine and I'm lucky to be alive. I was on a chairlift when there was this horrible noise and before we knew it, our chair fell to the snow and I thought we were gonna die. Oh, thank you, honey. I'm so grateful you're safe. However, there is one reported injury, someone very near and dear to my heart. After this report, I'm leaving to go see her in the hospital. So please, everyone out there, send good vibes to Laurel Lovejoy. I just want to say one more thing. This avalanche shows the danger our planet faces every day. The climate change rally is happening this week in Morro Bay, and I think the viewers should come out and show their support. I'm going to save the Earth. All right, yes. This is Duncan Sunshine. And Rayo Sunshine. Reporting live from Mount Kismo. Stay tuned for more updates throughout the day. I'm so sorry, Mom. I never meant to hurt you. I never meant to hurt anyone. Why didn't I say something to you? Why didn't I tell you who Grandma was? You deserve to know. It wasn't supposed to be like this. Grandma was supposed to be here, and now... <laughs> hey, it's Felix. Who leaves voicemails? You know there's a thing called texting, right? Felix, I've texted you like a thousand times. Why is your phone off? Call me. I... I need you. Where are you? No! This is totally normal, Felix. Just following a dozen cats and one cranky opossum all the way across town, middle of the night. What? My phone died hours ago, so I have no idea where I am, and for all I know, you guys don't either. Okay, I guess you do. Looks like we're stopping here. Nice house. Who lives here? You want me to follow you, I get it. Wait, what are you doing? You can't just climb in the window of someone's... Okay, that's illegal. Even for an opossum. <sighs> Mrs. Lovejoy? Grandma Ivy? Is this you? Are you the one leading me here? Fine, I'll go in. Okay, okay, I'm going. It's a little harder to slip through a window when you're not an opossum. <clears throat> Alright, I'll do it. Slow down. Some of us can't see in the dark hat. There's like one sliver of moonlight. Wait, that picture on the wall. Is that Duncan Sunshine? And Ray? This is their house? Why did you bring me here, guys? I'm trying to follow you, but I can't. Ugh. What was that? Something in the floor. Hidden door? But what's down there? I never asked to be Mother Nature, Mom. I never asked for any of this. Excuse me, Chloe. There's someone here to see you. Felix? Hello, Chloe. Oh, it's you. I'm a big fan, Mr. Sunshine. I watch you every day. Uh, thank you. That's very kind. If you wouldn't mind... Oh, of course. You're a lucky girl, Chloe, to be visited by such a celebrity. What do you want? I came to check on your mother. And on you? I have nothing to say to you. Ray told me that you thought Laurel and I were getting married. You weren't? She overreacted. She has a tendency to do that. Your mother and I were getting closer and we went away so we could get to know each other better. I don't want to hear this. All she did was talk about you. What? Laurel was worried about you. She just didn't know how to show it. Right before the avalanche, I was going to get my phone so that she could call you. Can you just leave? 
I don't want you- Chloe, you and I need to talk. Can we go somewhere? I don't want to leave here, especially not with you. So please just- Chloe, I know you caused that avalanche. I know who you are, and I need you to come with me. this place? It's like Mother Nature's command center, but with a lot more tech. Is this where Duncan forecasts the weather? What are these archives on the computer? It's Mother Nature's world! We're just paying rent! What? All these newspaper articles about weather events? <gasps> it's a picture of Grandma Ivy! And one of Chloe! He knows! He knows who they are! I have to warn her! from Devil's Peak on Mount Kismo, the site of a terrifying display of Mother Nature's raw force. Oh no. Look at that sunrise. What are we doing here? This is the beach where- Where your grandmother's memorial was held. And where you were supposed to have the ceremony to become Mother Nature. How did you know? Your mother told me everything, and she gave me this. The Book of Nature. But Mom said she left it out with the recycling. Your mother is a smart woman. You don't give her enough credit. She knew. She never said anything to me. She was afraid. Because your relationship had become so fractured, she knew that if she tried to steer you, you'd only rebel and go in the opposite direction. So she hoped you'd make the right decision on your own. But this is my legacy. Grandma Ivy left it to me. I have to be Mother Nature. I don't have a choice. Actually, you do, Chloe. What? I can't read the book, but I have studied the mythology. I believe there is a way to transfer the power. Chapter 19. Bestowing the power on another. A ceremony can be performed, and the power transferred with the ancient key. I only want you to understand that you have options. My grandmother believed in me. It was passed to her by her grandmother. But was she 13 when she assumed the job? No. And I wasn't supposed to be either. She died before. It was unnatural, Chloe. It wasn't supposed to happen this way. 13 is a hard enough age. What has been asked of you? It's so much. It's a lot. Do you even know about nature? Have you studied it? Do you understand the patterns or how to maintain balance? No. Then how could anyone expect you to? I mean, I've studied it my whole life and... You could do it. Excuse me? You could maintain the balance. Oh, I don't know, Chloe. But you know these things, right? Weather, science? I... I, I do. I do. I... I... Since the moment my grandma died, it's been a total disaster. I almost killed my mom and... And I'm afraid. I'm afraid I'm not strong enough. What if I'm not able to save the world? Maybe I was brought into your life to help you. You do that? You take the responsibilities? If that's what you needed. Of course, you could continue to train and study and in a few years, if you're ready, the world will be waiting for you. But this is your call, Chloe. I can't make it for you. My call. Give me a minute. Take all the time you need. Hey, it's Felix. Who leaves voicemails? You know, there's a thing called texting, right? Felix, what are you doing? I really need your advice, but... I... Never mind. Duncan? Yes, Chloe? When the... Transfer takes place. There's a period of calm. 36 hours, but after that... I understand. I'll be ready. Okay. Let's do it. And Chloe, you've made a brave choice. Here, stand by this rock. It'll shelter us from the weather. I hope you forgive me for this, Grandma. <clears throat> Let's see if I remember. With the power vested within, under the watchful eye of all the generations before me, I bestow to thee the powers of nature's mother, nature's keeper humbly. Natura Mater Transferate! Natura Mater Transferate! It worked. 
I, 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 I think it worked. Chloe, I, I don't know what to say. And now you take the key. I have to go. I have to be with my mom. <laughs> Ray. Ray. You can come out from behind the rock now. She did it. Zoo Girl actually did it. And now, the key is yours. Congratulations. Mother Nature. This is going to rule. All this technology, and not a single phone charger, Duncan? I have to call Chloe and tell her. Oscar, look. The weather. It's gone quiet. Just like when Grandma Ivy died and Chloe took over. No. Hey, Chloe. Any changes in my mom's condition? I'm afraid not. Can I sit with her? Of course you can. What's it like outside? It's... Quiet. Glad to hear it. I guess that crazy storm finally broke the heat wave. Yeah. You want me to turn on the TV for you? Weather should be coming up soon. No, please don't. I hope I did the right thing, Mom. I just want you to be okay. Why didn't you say something if you knew? Why didn't you tell me? I'm so tired. So tired. Another dream? Whoa. What happened to this garden? Everything is dead. Including the inhabitants. Grandma. You have something you want to tell me, Chloe. You know what? You want to lecture me about how I chickened out? How I let you down by giving up being Mother Nature? I didn't say anything. But I see that look. What look? Like you're disappointed. But so am I. I'm disappointed because you said we do this together, and you... You left me, and now Mom might leave me too. So excuse me for wanting to be normal, for wanting to get mad without causing an avalanche and burying your own mother. I understand, dear. You do? It must be a relief. When I handed over the key, it was like a weight lifted. But now that it's gone, and the book too, does that mean I lose you? I lose this? <laughs> you think I live in a key? No, Chloe. Your great-grandmother Fern and I and all the other Mother Natures that came before us, we're still inside you, whether you like it or not. You can't give that away. What about Mom? She's with you, too. No, I mean... No more questions, Chloe. You can't stay here. Now, wake up! But I need to tell you something. Tell her something about what? Ray? What are you doing in Chloe's house? What's up, Felix? I saw you on TV. The avalanche. Yeah, that was soup scary. Chloe's mom got hurt. I know. So sad for her. I just came over here to pick up some extra clothes to bring to the hospital. She's still at the hospital. Of course. I'll ask my mom to drive me over there. Felix? It's okay. You don't have to walk me out. So, what did you come here to tell her? Nothing. Why do you seem nervous, Felix? Ray? Yes, Felix? Why are all those crows standing behind you? Are they? <laughs> Perk of the job, I guess. The job? Oh, it was too much for poor Zoo Girl. But it's just the right amount for me. No. She wouldn't. She did. You're wearing the key. Not my style, but it does the trick. Don't worry, Felix. I'll be the best Mother Nature in history. I'm going to save the Earth. Ah! 
You almost hit me with lightning! Oops. Maybe next time. I don't understand. The calm is supposed to last another 24 hours. Why is it happening already? <sighs> she couldn't wait. Felix, where have you been? Long story, how's your mom? Not good. It's my fault. I caused the avalanche. I could have killed her. She still might not recover, and I... I gave it up. I know. You know? Uh, how? Oh, no. There's an alert from the local station. Turn on the TV. What is it? Turn it on. Duncan Sunshine here, reporting from Morrow Bay Middle School, where a climate change rally what? this weekend is what about is to doing? get a whole lot more interesting. See, I'm predicting the most important weather event of our lifetime. No. In fact, it's a lot bigger than just the weather. Folks, I give you my daughter, Ray O. Sunshine. No, it can't be. She has the key around her neck. That's what I was trying to tell you. Hello, everybody. Join me at the rally. It's going to be Mother Nature's greatest moment. I'm going to save the Earth. Ray is Mother Nature?